Alrighty, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up Substance Painter. Alright, so if you have my Skin Maker skips, you're going to want to go to File, New, Select, you're going to want to select the object file that comes with the Skin Maker skips. In this case, I chose the DT11. Next, you're going to want to pick up the normal map that is connected with this uh, weapon. Hit OK, let it load. All right, it loaded up. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to bake our mesh maps. You're going to want to uncheck the normal box and then bake. Once it's done baking, you're going to want to select the normal map that's connected that you imported, and then it should be ready to make a skin with. In this case, I used a smart material because we want it simple and straightforward and to the point. Smart materials, you just drag and drop, and they do all the work for you. Alrighty. Now that that's here, I went ahead and exported the textures. I made sure the config was alloy. You're going to want that. If you don't have it, download it. And then I chose the folder where I wanted to export. Once it's done exporting, you're going to want to go over to your Skin Maker skip and locate the manifest that's connected to the uh, weapon. Copy it. Make sure you copy it instead of move it because you want to use it again for future skins. Next up, you're going to want to go to skinpacker.exe, locate the export, the texture export folder. And choose it and everything should load thanks to the manifest go ahead and name your skin and for the skin GUID it has to be lowercase it cannot have a special characters or uppercases but it can have underscores and everything else is set up for you so all you have to do is pack it And boom, you got your hot mod. It's ready to be dropped in the side loader folder. So that's it. Once you got your hot mod, you're going to want to go to where your side loader folder is located. It normally is located within the Beppin, but in my case, I have it in Beppin and plugins. Putting the hot mod inside the side loader folder, it doesn't matter how many subfolders there are, it would still load up all the same. I will mention if you have a mod manager like R2MM, there might be a case where your Beppin folder is located in a profile instead of where h3vr.exe is. If you can locate your profile and locate Beppin, you are sure to find side loader folder if you have downloaded side loader.